I'll see you in Ghana, okay? Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Go, go away, mommy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. You see me. Go. go. Yes, this is going to be one of the most personal videos I've made about myself. But I am hoping that through this video, you, my wonderful viewers, will get to know a little bit more about myself and my journey. And hopefully put into perspective my subsequent videos. If you've been a tiny bit observant, you'll realize that I do not travel alone. Yes, I have a young family behind the scenes, but not anymore because they moved permanently to my home country, Ghana, in West Africa, leaving me alone in England. In a way, this video is just a product of my thoughts whilst going through this important stage of my life. Some years ago, I professed my love to a childhood friend, the love of my life. This burning desire led us into marriage. But one thing is, before this lovely stage of marriage, we had grown apart. I left Ghana to work with the UK Ministry of Defence, while she also managed to secure a promising career in social work, working with the government of Ghana. Because we are blinded by love, there's one thing that we sometimes forget when it comes to forming partnership and marriages, at least the ones that are formed over long distance, is the fact that one of us will have to compromise to leave their comfort zone to make this union work. We forget one will have to leave the comfort of their homes, hometowns, jobs, and even countries just to make this partnership work. And that is exactly what my wife did. She resigned from a job that kept her independent and was so good at it that she was tipped for directorship to follow me around the UK and the world whilst I lived my dreams and my purpose. Straight from the beginning, it was apparent that she wasn't cut for the foreign lifestyle. Her cultural shock never diminished. And with every baby that was born, which came with high cost of childcare, coupled with the nature of my job, meant she had to sacrifice her dream to look after the children. This meant recovering her mojo, getting out there and making an impact seemed to be disappearing into the distant future and she needed to find herself. Well, for the kids, after spending their formative years in Belize, made it a bit difficult for them to fit back into the UK system. Plus, they needed to learn about their heritage, the African way of living, the culture that provided me with the spirit of resilience that I possess now. After a bit of convincing from her part, we managed to secure a one-way ticket to Ghana for her and the kids, where they seem to be living their best life and their dreams. In Ghana, they have the space and the family network. She's managed to find a new love in the form of project management. That gives her a sense of purpose. And the kids, well, they seem to have adjusted so quick and seem more confident. The only way to stop my daughter from being naughty is to tell her that you are going to bring her back to England. Weirdly enough, it works. And you know what they say, a happy wife means a happy life. But am I happy? Of course I am. Do I miss my family? Hell yeah, they are the closest people in my life, but I know this situation isn't permanent. And I've been given the chance to have moments where I can sit in silence to reflect upon my life and to discover what happiness means to me. Within this short time, I've realized getting into other people's world and understanding how they live their life the way they do makes me happy. I mean, life is too short for me to just stay at one place and live one life, whereas I can tag along other people's world to enjoy its mystery. I am alone in the UK, but I'm not lonely, because loneliness is not lack of people, but rather lack of purpose. I'm going to take this time to get to know more about the world around me through other people's stories and culture.
through spontaneous travel to places and through experiencing other people's world. It is going to be interesting and I want to bring you with me. So, subscribe.